The intrusive behavior of the feral monkey packs has become a significant concern, especially when they attack humans, tourists, and livestock farms. Despite their high social nature, feral monkeys have posed a significant crisis in Florida. According to the Florida Department of Health, as of 2022, there have been 27 attacks by feral monkeys, including biting, scratching, and even throwing objects, making both humans and even dogs victims. They even disrupt the streets with brawls and food disputes. The behavior of marauding macaques has become a concerning issue, especially when they attack humans, tourists, and livestock farms. They even cause disturbances on the streets through scuffles, disputing over food, macaques stealing handbags, food, and drinks from tourists instill fear in the community. Their presence near urban areas and tourist spots raises safety concerns for residents and visitors alike. Their sudden appearance can induce feelings of fear and unease, particularly for those living near areas where they frequently roam. Not only that, they also freely swim in people's swimming pools when they are away from home. But Boone's creativity does not stop at stealing food, but also damaging cars in search of food. The United States government is working to control the baboon population through resettlement measures and public education. However, solving this problem requires creativity and efficiency in implementing complex solutions. Since 2019, baboon hunting in Florida, USA, has become an important measure in controlling invasive baboon populations. The Florida state government has established a series of regulations and licensing requirements to ensure that this hunting activity occurs safely and effectively. Participants must meet requirements, such as being 18 years old, possessing a Florida hunting license, and certifying ownership of hunting equipment. To hunt monkeys successfully, they used fruits to create traps for them. Baboons are very intelligent animals and live in groups, so to hunt them, 
Hunters need to hide near the area and stay quiet until they appear. Staying calm and observing carefully before shooting is also important. Baboon hunting skills require flexibility and experience. To participate in this activity, you need to practice and improve your skills. Although there were about 1,000 baboons hunted in Florida in 2022, this number is still not enough to control the population. However, this is an important step in reducing the pressure from this population on the local environment. According to CDC estimates, Hunting has helped reduce Florida's invasive baboon population by about 10%, which is a significant achievement. Would you like to go baboon hunting like this? If yes, leave number 1. Otherwise, leave number 0 and share your opinion in the comments section below. Feral pigs, an animal that causes a lot of damage in the United States, have existed in agriculture and their habitat since the 16th century when they were introduced to this country by Europeans. Since then, the number of feral pigs has not stopped, increased, and became a serious problem for farmers and local communities. Leave number one and join us now. To control this situation, many methods and measurements have been applied from traditional methods to modern technology. Hunting and trapping are the two most common methods of wildlife control. Although effective in some cases, both methods have their own advantages. Disadvantages Hunting wild boars can reduce wild boar numbers, but is not always effective in the long run. In addition, hunting wild boars can cause pain and injury to wild boars, and if not careful can cause unwanted consequences. Here we go. The trap method, although a different approach is not completely effective and carries its own limitations. Using traps requires careful preparation and precise positioning is almost essential. However, 
This can limit the wild boar's freedom of movement and lead to stress and fatigue. In addition, wild boars also threaten road traffic safety. Every year, there are dozens of traffic accidents caused by wild boars entering the streets, which is especially dangerous for traffic participants and especially people. Drivers like them may not be able to react promptly to the sudden appearance of wild bugs on the road because of these restrictions. Researchers and governments have been working to research and develop more effective methods of controlling wildlife hunting. One of these methods is to use modern technology to track wild boars. By using GPS systems and wild boar tracking tools, wild boars can be attacked and captured more effectively. The significant increase in wild boar populations not only causes great losses to agricultural culture, but also negatively impacts community infrastructure and assets. Statistical estimates of habitat indicate that billions of dollars are lost each year due to damage from waste areas and feral swine. In addition, Crops and animal feed sources are often destroyed, threatening the nation's vital food supply. The consequences of this are widespread and varied, causing potential problems for many different sectors. The cause of wild boars is the ability to transmit diseases to livestock and humans. They can be winners of infectious diseases such as tetanus, tapeworm, and stunting, which creates great risks for the livestock industry and farmers, especially in maintaining herd health and productivity. In all feral boar control methods coordination and interdisciplinary research are important researchers. Governments and those working in the sector need to work together to find innovative and sustainable solutions to minimize the impact of wild bolts on agriculture, the environment, and roads. Only through cooperation and collective effort can we effectively confront the serious feral swine problem in the United States and protect the basis of our livelihoods. One of the most important means to prevent the introduction of this pig species is to strengthen border control, especially the border with Mexico. Improving the effectiveness of control and surveillance measures at border crossings could help prevent feral swine from entering U.S. territory. Additionally, we need to implement educational programs to raise public awareness about the threat of wild boars. These programs can help people better understand the impact of feral pig pens on agriculture, the environment, and traffic safety. 
These educational activities can also provide guidance on how to recognize and report cases of hairless pigs to find more effective methods of feral hog eradication. We need financial support for research projects in biotechnology and environmental management to develop new solutions. These studies may focus on optimizing existing control methods or developing new technologies and techniques to minimize the impact of wild boar. Combined with border control and increased education, public education, The fight against wild boars has made significant progress through research and concerted efforts. We need to continue to build understanding and cooperation to protect agriculture and the environment, while ensuring traffic safety from the negative impacts of these animals. Researchers Farmers and governments need to work closely to find methods to control and minimize the animal's impact on agriculture, the environment, and road safety. Only through collaboration and innovative research can we solve America's serious feral swine problem. share any measures you know to prevent wild boar attacks by commenting below. If you agree with the above methods of controlling wild boars, leave number one. Otherwise, if you disagree, leave the number zero. In Florida are creating serious problems and threatening the stability of farms and communities called omnivores. They are not picky about their food and are capable of consuming everything from wheat, vegetables, corn to fruit, and even garbage. According to estimates by the Florida Department of Agriculture, while the vulnerability is generating damage estimates about 200 million USD for the state's agricultural industry each year. This negative impact comes not only from crop distribution, but also from soil digging and disease spread in agricultural environments. Wild boreholes, don't just damage agriculture. Their digging behavior also destroys the ecosystem, degrading soil quality and polluting water sources. According to statistics, about 10,000 facilities in Florida are damaged by the destruction of wild pigs every year. Every year, feral pig activity is not only limited to rural areas but also spreads to parks and recreational areas, creating a security risk for both humans and wildlife in the Everglades. For example, Feral pigs cause significant damage to the area's landscape and trails and increase the risk of collisions with humans and other animals. This situation is causing Florida residents to worry about the potential consequences of the presence of feral pigs.
This continuing situation not only poses challenges for the agricultural sector and the environment, but also poses potential risks to the security and safety of the community. Requiring close cooperation between the government and the community to find effective scientific solutions to control and minimize the impact of natural disasters. Feral warfighting is one of the most commonly used feral pig population management methods. Helicopter hunting is a method practiced by professional hunters licensed by the Florida Department of Natural Resources Conservation. Or FWC hunting takes place when helicopters fly low over areas where wild bows often appear in search of food. FWC certified hunters fly in helicopters and use scopes to identify and shoot wild boars. This equipment and method offers many advantages, such as the ability to reach hard-to-reach areas, being able to shoot multiple animals at once and being effective in controlling wild pig populations. However, it is expensive, high, and potentially risky. For hunters and wildlife, the disadvantages of considering this method are often practiced in agricultural areas such as corn, wheat and vegetable fields where high densities of wild pigs create favorable conditions for hunting. Defeat them, helicopter hunters will use lead bullets to hunt wild pigs. Bullets with good armor penetration ability help defeat wild boars quickly and effectively. Each hunt can bring 20 to 30 wild BS depending on the density of wild BS in the area. This poses the most challenges, stable and require care to ensure safety.
Effective safety always comes first and hunters need to follow the rules including wearing seatbelts, not standing out while a helicopter is in flight, and following the pilot's instructions. Hunting wild boar by helicopter is not only an effective method, population control method, but also an interesting challenge with professionalism and special attention to safety. This method contributes positively to efforts to predict agriculture and habitat from the negative impacts of wild boar. Since wild BS was introduced to the United States in the 16th century and quickly became a serious problem in this area, its vigorous reproduction has caused great damage to the natural environment, nature, making their control a top priority for the agricultural community and environmental researchers. During the period from the 18th to the 20th century, wild boars attacked forest environments by eating young trees and burrowing in the soil. Texas farmers have had to use pitfall traps to deal with feral hog populations. This was considered one of the most effective traps of that time. The process requires diligence and technique. Involving digging a hole about two feet deep and placing bait around the hole. Then placing a delicate trap at the hole's entrance. Scented water bait is often used to attract wild boars and when they pass through the entrance, the trap activates and quickly captures them. while pitfall traps are an effective solution. They can also pose a risk of injury to wild boars. However, as a result of the use of pitfall traps, feral hog and feral pig populations have decreased significantly in Texas. All of this problem has not yet been completely resolved. These measures have helped minimize the impact of wild boars on the environment, has played an important role in controlling wild boar overpopulation.